The keratograph in my practice uh, has really enhanced the way in which I can not only educate the patients, but also I can design their treatment and literally look at them as candidates for refractive or premium surgery in a more objective and subjective fashion where I engage the patient uh, as a team member uh, so they can also see what's going on. Um, my practice is slightly uh, different in that I see a number of uh, second opinions, complication corrections and patients who had premium surgery and are unhappy with their results. When they are flown to me, I can now actually look at their eyes and go, well, your doctor did a great job, but you see here's your dry eye and here's your ocular surface and here's the report. And when they look at something like that, beyond their subjective complaints, I think it empowers them. And I also feel it's very important for the patient to become part of your team as you now look forward to correcting them and make their surgeon look good. Uh, additionally, with the keratograph I've seen, since it also has a topographer, I already know my information before I enter the room. And because I use it in combination, in symbiosis with the Penicam, it gives me so much information that I can then sit down with the patient help them understand their ocular status, their refractive outcomes, not only outcomes but also options if they're beginning with me, and then a plan of action. So you can break it down for them, they become your team, cheering you on literally as you help them get back to their excellent vision. Many a times patients have been told they have dry eyes or ocular surface dysfunction, but it's difficult for them to comprehend what that means. They just look at dry eyes as well, I have less tears. But when you do a test like a keratograph, which uh, in my office I have streamlined where I have six particular tests like the tear film breakup time, the mybography, the tear film elevations and levels. When I look at all that as one screen and the patient sees the process, I think they get much better educated that there are actually types of dry eyes. There are causative concepts of dry eyes and therewith there are treatment options that are tailored, not just here are some drops go home. So when you, when you function in that way, not only are you doing justice to dry eyes, which is an entity which could be very, very uh, progressively detrimental to a patient, not only in personal but professional life, you're also creating a system where patients are finally understanding that dry eye is a science. Here is my report, a personalized report, and here is the problem I'm facing, and other doctors are going to attack this problem. And recently at the talk I did uh, where I showed the impact of Penicam and Keratograph, I explained to doctors that you can even convert dry eye patients by first correcting their dry eyes and make them into candidates, of course with safety and ethics, to perform premium cataract surgery, uh, laser vision surgery, ICL surgery. So why do patients have to suffer just because they have dry eyes? Correct the problem, make them normal, take them to perfect vision. Unlike many technologies which once you, when you try to incorporate, you have a little lag time, the staff has to understand how to use it. I think the keratograph uh, started pretty fast in the sense that the training after it was done, uh, the staff catches on very well because it's a test which you have literally the steps going through. Additionally, what I like is you can customize your testing protocol in that I don't need all the 12 tests every time on every patient before I've seen them. So they have six tests, like I mentioned, which I need in every patient. And if I feel the need and I want to delve deeper, then I myself come there and we can do some more active testing on the patient. Have them see their own myboman glands, for example. Have them see the tear layer. Once they look at all that and it becomes a real intelligent discussion about do they have dry eye? If they do, what's the kind of dry eye they have? And then still, what are the options? It's not, a, it's not like dry eye is a, is a statement that's the end of any vision endeavor for the patient. You can still help them see uh, without glasses. Besides corneal topographies and corneal anatomies that we study using various uh, devices like the Penicam uh, with the Shineflow camera system and now with the axial uh, element to it where we can even measure the lens powers in one station, I think the keratograph adds another dimension to the ocular surface which was herewith neglected uh, for most of the time. And now we see the ocular surface which is so vital not only for vision, but for vision whether the patient's wearing a contact lens or glasses, whether it's vision going into premium surgery, or whether it's vision coming out of premium surgery with intact and excellent endpoints that the patient expected. So I do believe the keratograph married to the Penicam and the axial system is an absolute tool uh, or a diagnostic suite, if you may, where vision corrective surgery can truly be planned from A to Z.